When you were a child, you spoke English very well. Yet, at the age of four or five, you didn't know how to read or write. But that did not stop you from speaking, did it? You also had no knowledge of grammar. Now, when you're thinking of learning another language, the first thing that you think about is pronunciation. Oh, what if I mispronounce a word and people make fun of me? Or, I don't remember anything about grammar. Or, I actually never knew grammar. <laughs> well, at the age of four or five, did you think of pronunciation? Did you know grammar? I doubt it. Now, as a grown-up, however, you have two advantages. You can read and you can write. And I won't talk to you about grammar, I promise, for at least three hours of French tapes. When, by this time, you will feel so secure that there is a chance for you to speak French that the word grammar will no longer put you in a panic. Let me put you at ease. If you were to go to a newsstand and get a French magazine or a French newspaper, and underline the words that are the same in French and in English, you would be amazed to discover that many words are exactly the same. Pronunciation may be different, but the spelling is exactly the same. Actually, 28% of the English language is pure French. You heard me right. Almost one word out of three is French. So as I am speaking to you now, you already know one-third of the French vocabulary. Do you feel a little more confident now? I will start you with a group of words that are the same in French and in English. First, I want to make you aware that all the words that end up in T-I-O-N in English, like nation, constructions, are the same in French, exactly. So you already know right now about 350 words. The construction is la construction, la construction. The nation is la nation, la nation. So I will give you 15 of those words in the first lesson. By the way, the word lesson in French is la leçon. And during that first leçon, you will learn how to ask questions, how to make sentences, how to give orders. The first expression I would like to teach you is, I would like. In French, it is, je voudrais. Je meaning I, voudrais meaning would like. And it's one word in French. Je voudrais. You say it. Je voudrais. I would like. The word for to change in French is changer. Changer. So if you wanted to say, I would like to change, you would say, Je voudrais changer. Every time I will say something in French, I will leave a blank space on the tape for you to repeat the word or the expression. The word to dance is danser. 
dans ce pays. So, if you want to say, I would like to dance, you would say, je voudrais danser. Je voudrais danser. It's that simple. To visit is visiter. I would like to visit is je voudrais visiter. Je voudrais visiter. To examine is examiner. I would like to examine is je voudrais examiner. Je voudrais examiner. To determine is déterminer. Déterminer. I would like to determine is je voudrais déterminer. Je voudrais déterminer. To contact is contacter. I would like to contact is je voudrais contacter. Je voudrais contacter. To adore is adorer. It also means to love, to like. I would like to adore. Je voudrais adorer. Je voudrais adorer. To detest or to dislike or to hate is détester. I would like to detest. Je voudrais détester. Je voudrais détester. To protest is protester. I would like to protest. Je voudrais protester. Je voudrais protester. To film, to shoot is filmé. I would like to film. Je voudrais filmer. I hope you're repeating those words and those expressions. To pay is payer. I would like to pay. Je voudrais payer. Je voudrais payer. To complete is compléter. I would like to complete. Je voudrais compléter. Je voudrais compléter. To arrange is arranger. I would like to arrange. Je voudrais arranger. Je 
je voudrais arranger. To blame someone, blâmer. I would like to blame. Je voudrais blâmer. Je voudrais blâmer. To arrive, arriver. Arriver. I would like to arrive. Je voudrais arriver. To plant, to plant flowers, to plant vegetables, to plant trees, is planter. I would like to plant. Je voudrais planter. Je voudrais planter. To sing or to chant is chanter. I would like to sing. Je voudrais chanter. Je voudrais chanter. To challenge. Challenger. Challenger. I would like to challenge. Je voudrais challenger. Je voudrais challenger. To authorize. Autoriser. Autoriser. I would like to authorize. Je voudrais autoriser. Je voudrais autoriser. To proclaim. Proclamer. Proclamer. I would like to proclaim. Je voudrais proclamer. Je voudrais proclamer. To eat in French is not the same as it is in English. In French, it is manger. Spelled exactly the same as the word manger in English, a place where food is given to animals. Or, as history tells us, Christ was born in a manger. Manger, to eat. So, I would like to eat is je voudrais manger. Je voudrais manger. Now I will give you three little words. You is vous. Vous. Me is moi. Moi. With is avec. Avec. Let's repeat those three words. You is vous. Me is moi. With is avec. Now, let's use those three words in the phrases you learned. I would like to dance with you. Je voudrais danser 
avec vous. You say it. I would like to visit Paris with you. Je voudrais visiter Paris avec vous. I would like to contact the president. The word president in French is le président. Spell it exactly the same way. So, I would like to contact the president. Je voudrais contacter le président. A little longer sentence. I would like to contact the president with you. Je voudrais contacter le président avec vous. Je voudrais contacter le président avec vous. I would like to film with you. Je voudrais filmer avec vous. Come on, go ahead, say it. Je voudrais filmer avec vous. You already know the word for the lesson. La leçon. So, I would like to complete the lesson. Je voudrais compléter la leçon. Je voudrais compléter la leçon. The president is le président. The vice president is le vice président. So, I would like to blame the vice president. Je voudrais blâmer le vice président. Come on, you say it. It's not that complicated. Je voudrais blâmer le vice-président. You may think to yourself, how on earth would I ever use a sentence like that on my first visit to France? Well, remember, I'm trying to prove to you that you can string one word after another after another and make yourself understood and that learning French is not as difficult as you might have thought. Now, I would like to sing with you. Je voudrais chanter avec vous. Je voudrais chanter avec vous. I would like to eat with you. Je voudrais manger avec vous. Je voudrais manger avec vous. Some of you may think, okay, fine, I'm saying those words, but oh, so slowly. So what? At least you are saying them in French. And as the time go by, you will be speaking faster. Don't try to run before you learn how to walk, all right? An expression you might use often enough is, do you want? Voulez-vous? When you ask a question in French, you don't use a word like do. 
as you say when you say, do you sing or do you complete? In French, you just reversed you in sing. So it comes out as sing you, complete you. Same as in English, actually, when you say, am I, is she, are we? I mean, you don't say in English, do I am, do she is, do we are, right? It's just straight. Am I, is she, are we? First of all, let me ask you something. What does the word do mean exactly? I bet you never thought about it or even questioned it. And if so, don't question why in French we don't use a similar word. Be grateful that it's easier. So if you protest is vous protestez, do you protest will become protestez-vous. Protestez-vous. Do you adore? Adorez-vous. Do you contact? Contactez-vous. Do you visit? Visitez-vous. Do you dance? Dansez-vous. Do you change? Changez-vous. Do you proclaim? Proclamez-vous. Do you authorize? Autorisez-vous. Do you challenge? Challengez-vous. Do you sing? Chantez-vous. Do you plant? Plantez-vous. Do you blame? Blâmez-vous. Do you complete? Complétez-vous. Do you pay? Payez-vous. Do you film? Filmez-vous. Do you arrive? Arrivez-vous. Do you arrange? Arrangez-vous. Do you determine? Déterminez-vous. Do you eat? Mangez-vous. By the way, in the box, along with the tapes, I have provided you with a group of words or expression that you're learning on tape one, two, three, and four. It will be up to you to cut them up and try to make sentences on your own. Good luck. A couple of minutes ago, you learned how to say, do you want, voulez-vous? Now, test yourself. How would you say, do you want to eat with me. Okay, okay, I'll help you with that first one. Do you want to eat with me? Voulez-vous manger avec moi? Do you want to arrange the lesson with me? Voulez-vous arranger la leçon avec moi? Do you want to film with me? Voulez-vous filmer avec moi?
Do you want to pay? Voulez-vous payer? Do you want to blame the captain? Capitaine is the French word for captain. Le capitaine. So, do you want to blame the captain? Voulez-vous blâmer le capitaine? The plant is la plante. Do you want to plant the plant? Voulez-vous planter la plante? The word for nation, if you remember, is la nation. So, say in French, do you want to challenge the nation? Voulez-vous challenger la nation? Now you have barely had a half hour of French and you can already say, do you want to challenge the nation? Now let's say, do you want to change the nation? Voulez-vous changer la nation? Do you want to dance with me? Voulez-vous danser avec moi? Do you want to visit Paris with me? Voulez-vous visiter Paris avec moi? Do you want to contact the president? Voulez-vous contacter le président? I will now give you a list of words that end in T-I-O-N, which are exactly written the same way in French and in English. The question is la question. The selection is la sélection. The reception is la réception. The nation, which you already know, is la nation. The communication is la communication. The construction is la construction. For those of you who might be afraid of the French guttural R, don't be, because we have two sounding R in French. One, the guttural one, is R. The other one is softer, just like in English, R, R. So right now, it doesn't matter if you pronounce all the R the English way. Remember, what you want to do is to communicate. And the French people won't care if you say construction instead of construction. They won't care. They'll be able to speak with you and communicate with you. Besides, you will learn later how to say the guttural All right, here's the list of words. The production is la production. The preparation is la préparation. The restriction is la restriction. The destruction is la destruction. The distribution is la distribution. 
the competition, la compétition. The definition, la définition. The corruption, la corruption. Now I want to teach you another tiny word. The word for four. Not the number four, but for you, for me. It also means in French, in order to. And that little word is pour. Pour. And for example, I use it in a sentence. I would like to complete the class for you. Je voudrais compléter la classe pour vous. Je voudrais compléter la classe pour vous. I would like to arrange the lesson for you. Je voudrais arranger la leçon pour vous. Je voudrais arranger la leçon pour vous. I am, in French, is je suis. Je suis. I am determined. Je suis déterminé. I am authorized. Je suis autorisé. I am detested. I am hated. Je suis détesté. I am changed. Je suis changé. I am challenged. Je suis challengé. I am adored. Je suis adoré. I am blamed. Je suis blâmé. I am paid. Je suis payé. So let's review all the expressions that you learned. I would like. Je voudrais. I am. Je suis. Do you want? Voulez-vous? You? Vous? Me? Moi? With? Avec? In order to or for? Pour? So now let's learn another little word. But. But in French is mais. Actually, pronounced exactly like the month of May. Mais. Of course, the word for yes is oui. And the word for no is non. So if you wanted to say, but yes, mais oui. But no, mais non. Mais oui, mais non. I would like to give you an example of something that may appear complicated, but you already know how to say it. Listen. 
I am hated, but I would like to pay for the reception. You can say it. Je suis détesté, mais je voudrais payer pour la réception. That's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Je suis détesté, mais je voudrais payer pour la réception. When I was young in school, the first lesson was the pen, the pencil, the box, the door, the wall, etc. Words which, if I had been transported to the US, would not have helped me one bit. You know more now than I knew after three or four months in school. So be brave. Try to put one word after another, after another, after another. Now, learn the expression for I have. Je. Remember that you learned the word for I, which is je. I have is je. Je. I have filmed with Robert Redford. J'ai filmé avec Robert Redford. I have completed the lesson. J'ai complété la leçon. I have protested the destruction. J'ai protesté la destruction. I have adored the reception. Or oh, I've liked the reception. J'ai adoré la reception. I have examined the communication. J'ai examiné la communication. I have changed the definition. J'ai changé la définition. I have determined the selection. J'ai déterminer la sélection. I have challenged the restriction. J'ai challengé la restriction. I have challenged the competition. J'ai challenger la compétition. All right, let's review. I would like, je voudrais. I am, je suis. You, vous. Me, moi. Yes. Oui. No. Non. But. Mais. Do you want? Voulez-vous? For or in order to? Pour. I have. Je. You may not be aware, but you have now learned to speak in the past tense. On your first lesson, you're doing great. And for those of you who have forgotten your grammar, I have not mentioned one word of it.
Oh, and maybe except the word past tense. Yet you're making sentences, phrases, whichever you want to call them. All right. Let me teach you the word goodbye, which is au revoir. And let's review. La population. I will say them in French, and you translate them in English. La population. La permission. La séparation. La vocation. La dévotion. La libération. La dépression. La population. La permission. La séparation. La question. La sélection. La réception. La nation. La communication. La construction. La production. La préparation. La restriction. La destruction. La distribution. La compétition. La définition. La corruption. Voulez-vous? Je suis avec vous, moi, pour j'ai mais. I think you're doing very well. We wrap up that first tape, and uh, I will be speaking to you on the second tape. By the way, on that first tape, everything that you learned was positive. So on the second tape, I will teach you how to say everything in the negative. It's not too complicated, you'll see. Goodbye is au revoir. See you soon or talk to you soon is a bientôt. A bientôt. So, au revoir. A bientôt.